Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am opening Happy Mail all the way from Australia. Kathleen reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would like to swap with her. And so I created something for her, which I will um, upload once she's received it. And here is what I've <laughs> I'm already super excited. Oh, okay, let's let all this spill out. I can hear lots of things shaking and rattling around in here. Okay, so that's a cute way to send it. Envelopes are a really good way to send things when you're sending so far away. You have to try to keep them as light as possible. I sent hers in an envelope as well. So the first thing I see straight out is a beautiful stamp set. I love that little bird. Hello and joy. I really like these and I can see getting a lot of use out of this XOXO. That's very pretty. Cool, fun, sweet. A little present for you. So I'm just gonna sort of organize everything here. Oh, she sent me some paper and some stickers. Oh, she's stitched all the way around here. I love that. And I don't want to open it. <laughs> it's like so cute. I'm going to have to, oh, look at that pretty paper. I like that a lot. So I'm trying to see if I can place this collection. Okay. Let's start off with this one thing that I can see. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm so happy. I don't have enough sequins. I use them a lot and I really appreciate this little sequin pack that she has created for me. She has stitched in gold all the way around the edge and she has stitched each one of these little banners. I love those little details. For these sequins, I love mixing fonts and I usually will do one word in one font, another word in another font, but I love how she's done multiple fonts all in one which is a really smart idea as well. If you have letters left over that you don't have enough from one set to make something, this is a great idea. It looks fantastic. It's so fun. And uh, I really like that idea. I'm gonna have to do that sometime as well. I love it. I was thinking, how am I going to, oh, this is just fantastic. I was thinking, how am I going to find a good storage solution for my sequins? Because I have um, just sort of a mishmash of, of uh, ones, and I don't have enough that I've really gone to the trouble of finding organization, but this is perfect. I absolutely love this because you can just open one and shake it in. I need to find more of these because this is the way to go. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So she's got all the different themes. So she's got like a line of purple and a line of blue, gold, red, white. What's this one? It's sort of like a mix of black and some copper and golds, all your kind of neutrals. Oh, look at some more shells, which is funny because I've used some shells that I've sent off to her. These are tiny little cats in here. It's hard to see them, but they're like little cat faces or, oh, that's so cute. I'm so happy for this. That is great. I will leave this on my crafting table and think of Kathleen every time I um, come down to craft because it'll be sitting sort of right there, propped up and uh, ready to use. So let's just take a peek at these papers here to see if it gives any indication it might be the collection that she used for me. So these are all the colors that I love and I really went out on a whim and did something drastically different for her Happy Mail and I hope that she likes it because it is very different from anything I've ever done. These are gorgeous papers. I cannot place what collection this is. And they are on paper. So I almost wonder if she has the digital collection and she's printed these. I can't picture who this is. And some repeats. It's very pretty. 
but I, I don't have it. I haven't worked with it. And this is going to be great for making happy mail because um, I'm, I have a bunch of pen pals that I need actual paper, not like a thick cardstock or heavy weighted pattern paper. So these are a nice light paper that I can work with. And that's actually going to be what I end up using those for. So that's wonderful. I'm happy to have those. What surprise is in here? It's a pocket letter. I created a pocket letter for her too, but this looks like quite a different. Oh no, it's not a pocket letter. But that the size didn't seem quite right. Oh, it's a tag flip. What a clever way to put the tag flip in. <gasps> So that you, <laughs> this is great. What a clever way to put the tag flip in so that you could have it be flat. Oh, she's got my name. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. She has stitched around this coin and put sequins in behind tulle, layered everything wonderfully. She's stitched across, I love that when you stitch across your name like that. And she's put it on this gorgeous gold acetate. I love it. It's so great. Oh my gosh. Every single detail of this. Everything is stitched on the edge. This is that beautiful paper that she has gifted to me. She sent me some bows that she has handmade out of felt. They are so soft. And that pretty paper again there. So she has done both sides. There's some pretty trim I didn't even talk about on the top here. Let's look at that. Aww. This is the biggest tag flip I've ever seen or received. Oh, that's beautiful. What a nice addition. And she's just snapped it in here. So you could take this piece off and easily reuse it. She's gifted me washi again to match this collection perfectly and it will be great when I create my letters for my pen pals. These are great little flare badges. She has made these. These aren't, um, these are handmade that she has created that herself. I'm going to have to see how it is that she has made these flare badges but that's neat and then she's even put it on with some washi so I can easily take it off to use them. Aww that is great and she's got some tea in here. Sleep time tea twinning. That'll be nice to try something different so coming from Australia my, it looks like a brand that I don't have here. I love this tag pocket that she did. And here are all the tags that she has gifted to me. I can never have enough tags. I use them often and I love them. And here is this beautiful idea that she's come in with a scallop and created a pocket. She's decorated it. She is just so talented. I love this. This is totally my style. She has double stitched everything too. So she had stitched the pocket before she had, um, she, what she probably did was she, before she put the pocket on, she stitched all around the edge and then she stitched the pocket in place as well. That is just great. That feels wonderful. Oh my gosh, look at these. <laughs> Wow, those are beautiful. Oh, this is such a great tag flip. And then she's got a little love. She's got a letter for me. I'm excited to read that and get to know more about her. I watched her do, um, or I watched Alicia unbox a gift that she sent to her and it was just stunning and she could tell she is so thoughtful and she put so much time and she really loves the craft as much as the rest of us who all do. Like you can tell when people, it just brings joy to their heart to create these things and we all know what that feels like. Collect beautiful moments. Oh, I just love ephemera and she sent me a whole pack of ephemera to go with it. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. 
just beautiful. These are very original. These are like little Polaroids. I haven't seen anything like that before. Anything is possible. Notes, outstanding, stay golden. Beautiful. Oh, just love it. I love gold thread. I love the stitching around everything. Just a little pocket she's created here. This is happy. She does the same thing that I do too. I always put the three little gems or enamel dots and then the stitching on the back there. That is just so fantastic. I love the little confetti that it's left along the side here. Okay, how are we going to open this guy? Hmm. Should have taken a picture before. I wonder if I can... Hmm. Let's see if this... This way. I can still wrap it back up. Yeah, let's show you guys what's inside. Oh my goodness. What is this little gem? Little book in here. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's a sticker book. Oh, that's so nice. This is so original. Maybe I don't know this collection because maybe it's something you can't get in North America. Maybe this is like an Australian line because... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Daydreamer. Who is this by? Yeah, it's not like a, a typical brand that I purchase so it um, is something unique and I love it it's totally my colors my style cool fun and sweet a little present for you that's a really adorable bag <laughs> wow <laughs> this is a real treat that is great. So it is really sweet. So in here, Carmelo Koala. I'm glad she sent three because my little children are going to love this little koala bear. And now I can each give them one dairy milk. That is adorable. As well as Kit Kats. So this is something that we can get here, but this is not. I love that. Tim Tam Fingers. Crunchy chocolate biscuits. They seem to have survived really well. I wasn't sure. Chomp, a monster chew. Be treat wise, enjoy a balanced diet. This is caramel. These are fun, all different treats that I haven't tried before. Curly Whirly. This is probably one of my favorite things to receive as a little gift in Happy Mail that's not paper related is to get little treats, especially when it comes from somewhere as far away as Australia. To try something new that uh, we can't get here in Canada is such a treat. So I thank Kathleen so much. I will link her Instagram account below. She does not have a YouTube channel. Maybe we can encourage her to get one because <laughs> with all of this talent that she has, she definitely needs to be seen. Um, I really appreciate all of this. This is so beautiful. I love the colors. I love the thoughtfulness. I love the sequins. This is just something that I will treasure and have a hard time parting with, but will be happy to use because I can refill these little amazing sequin bags or um, boxes each uh, one by one. So thank you so much, Kathleen. I'm so thankful that um, you reached out to me to swap and I hope that you like what I send to you. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We'll see you again next time.